Hey guys, it is I, Carlton Flowers, back with you again with yet another controversial topic, something that I want to discuss tonight on Chat with Carlton here at CZTV. And my goal with this discussion is to, of course, as always, support my MO, finding common ground, helping people to find common ground so we can all get along better. All right, so what's the topic tonight? Here it is right here. The topic is centered around all of the arguing and bickering about these two popular catchphrases. Black lives matter. All lives matter. And we go back and forth and back and forth. And you know what? This whole arguing back and forth over these two phrases, honestly, it makes me want to just take my head and bash it up against the wall and put a hole in the wall with my cranium. I'm serious. I'm surprised that more people don't see through this senseless, useless argument that has no solution, that's not going to stop. And I'm also surprised that more people aren't sick of it and speaking up and trying to break it down and unpack it in such a manner that we can pull back and maybe solve what the root problem is. So that's what I am going to do today is unpack this thing, break it down, and try to pull everybody into a middle ground where we can find some understanding. All right, well, let's just begin. I think the root of the problem is right here. It's in original intent. In other words, the reason why people are arguing back and forth is because one side has no idea what the other side's original intent is when they speak their little catchphrase. Well, what do you mean by that, Carlton? What's your intent? <laughs> Here's what it means. Someone says, Black Lives Matter. Someone hears Black Lives Matter, but what they hear is translated to have a different intent of what the original intent from the person who spoke that phrase was. So the way the argument scenario usually takes place is person A says black lives matter, person B hears it and responds with disgust uh, or shock or concern that how could this person say that? Because what they hear in black lives matter is black lives are really the only lives that truly do matter because black lives are the most important and should draw all of the attention. When the original intent from the person A who made the statement was that black lives don't receive the same respect as other nationalities and we would like black lives to matter just as much as white lives, yellow lives, purple lives, rainbow lives, or anything else. So the person who receives in their eardrum that statement of Black Lives Matter, they decide to attach a different intent to that phrase. And what they decide is that they want to take offense because they don't understand what the intent is from person A. So they feel a need to correct person A. And to come back with, well, all lives matter, not just black lives. So now we go to the third stage of the bickering, the senseless mind-numbing bickering. And person A hears the all lives matter statement and takes offense to that and views that as a person minimizing the original intent that black lives should be given equal respect. So person B is labeled a racist. Now I'm going to tell you the way that, let, let me tell you how person A receives all lives matter. Let's say my wife comes into the room and says, hey honey, I love you. Why don't you usually tell me that? You don't tell me that enough. Well, Instead of me saying, I love you, honey, I really do. Sorry, I don't tell you that enough. 
What if I told her, hey, I love everybody? Do you think she would accept that? No, she would fly off into a rage like most women would if their husbands dared to say that back to them. Well, that's what person A is thinking in their mind when they hear person B say, all lives matter. Now, here's the thing. If we would stop and take a deep breath and find out what the original intent was of each person's little catchphrase. Side note, why do we live on catchphrases? Why do we fall for that? Why do we have to live within these cliche statements? It becomes cliche when we lose the original meaning of a statement. And both of these are now cliche. But if we would focus on the original intent, if we would take a breath and say, well, what do you mean by that? I guarantee you that the overwhelming majority of people who holler Black Lives Matter don't mean that as a statement of black superiority. I guarantee you the overwhelming majority of the people who holler the BLM cliche are just saying we would be happy in our world if black lives were given equal respect because we perceive that we are not given equal respect. Now, conversely, I will guarantee you that the majority of people who say, all lives matter, the majority of them don't mean to minimize, minimalize, which is the word? Well, you know what I mean. They don't mean to minimalize the value of the life of an African American. That's not their intent. What they're just saying is, well, that's not fair because everybody should be treated equal. Well, what do you notice there? There's a common ground, but we're not going to get on that. We're, we're going to let's let's move on before we get there. Once we get to the bickering stage, we have established a straw man on both sides. What is the straw man? You might ask. Well, let me just read the definition. Listen to this. A straw man fallacy occurs when someone takes another person's argument or point, distorts it or exaggerates it in some kind of extreme way, and then attacks the extreme distortion as if that is really the claim the first person is making. Now, is that not the very thing I just described to you with this person A, person B scenario of the BLM versus ALM? That's exactly what I was describing. So we lash out against the straw man. Person A is screaming at the straw man version of person B. And then person B is screaming at the straw man version of person A. And that is why the argument never gets resolved. Think about that. Okay, so how do we view this scientifically? In my last video, I talked about putting the emotions on pause and returning yourself from the emotional state to a logical state where you're functioning within the cerebral cortex of your brain. Functioning. If I'm talking funny, it's because I have my Invisalign braces on now. So I have a little bit of a lift. I, I'm very sorry about that if I'm lisping. <laughs> so we are going to try to look at this from a scientific standpoint so we can end on a good note and maybe accomplish something other than senseless, mindless, endless bickering from a straw man argument. Here's a little thing that I discovered. And this is scientific fact. Life experiences, I should have had an S there, create the belief system of every individual. In other words, what you believe to be reality is based on your life experiences. When the person that says Black Lives Matter is upset with someone for arguing with them that all lives matter. They're coming from a life experience where they have seen bad things happen to black people from the law enforcement standpoint. 
When someone says all lives matter, they're speaking from life experience where in their world they might see police brutality against white people. Have you seen the video compilations showing police brutality against all people? They've kind of disappeared, but the majority of the people that you see in these videos are not of one particular race. Yes, the numbers might prove that there is a statistical difference between the incidents of violence between different races, but that doesn't matter when it comes to the individual because they will only see what their belief system allows. And the belief system is based on their individual life experience. That's why you will never win an argument trying to change a person's viewpoint and prove to them that their particular catchphrase is wrong. What do I have next? I don't even remember. Oh, here it is. Here's how you can solve the problem and establish common ground. Here's how you can get somewhere beyond the bickering so that you don't end up like me wanting to bang your head up against the door while screaming. Ask for intent. Just stop and ask a person. When you hear them say, Black Lives Matter, before you get upset and say, All Lives Matter, why don't you just stop and ask that person, What do you mean by that? And what is behind that statement? 99 times out of 100, you're going to find out that what they mean is they don't believe black people are getting the same respect when it comes to law enforcement interactions as other cultures. The same goes true for the other. When that person says, all lives matter, and then the original person says, racist! Before you say racist, before you pull out the racist gun and start to fire, why don't you ask that person, what do you mean by that when you answer all lives matter? Why do you answer that way when you hear me say black lives matter? And I guarantee you that the majority of them will say, well, it seems unfair to me because I think all human beings should get respect. Once you do that, you might be able to get to the promised land where you can establish common ground. I'm going to give you an assignment. The next time you hear or see one of these arguments going on and the bickering going back and forth, I want you to help the two individuals or if you are person A or person B to try what I just explained and ask for the meaning of the person you're arguing with, of what their intent really is from their catchphrase, and then find a way to establish common ground. Because in this situation, I think the common ground is that we all want to be respected and feel safe within our own world and understand that our belief systems create our realities. But we just want to be treated with respect. That's about all I have. What are your experiences with this? Have you had an argument with someone over Black Lives Matter versus All Lives Matter? Post about it in the comment section. And on my next video related to this topic, I'm going to talk about the bickering and arguing that goes on based upon the generalizations of law enforcement officers. All right, I'm Carlton. That's all I've got for now. We'll see you next time. Peace.